What's good, y'all? This is Evan from DMV Sports Zone updating you on all things DMV sports. So first up, we're going to start with the Washington football team. So last week, Washington beat the Giants 30-29 to on a game-winning 43-yard field goal by Dustin Hopkins. For the team, that was finally the first win against Daniel Jones. And for Taylor Heineke, that was his first ever win as a starter. Up next, Washington heads to Buffalo to take on the Bills. You'll hear more about this matchup in the coming, in the coming days here on DMV Sports Zone. But what I'll tell you right now, the Buffalo Bills are 1-1, one one, just like Washington. And they're coming off a 35-0 win in Miami. And now we segue into college football, and we're going to start with the Maryland Terrapins. Last week, Maryland, just like Washington, played a thriller, which ended in a 20-17 win at Illinois on the leg of Joseph Petrino, a 32-yard field goal as time expired. Talia Tagovailoa, 350 yards and a touchdown in the win in Champaign. The win improves the Terps to 3-0 on the season, 1-0 in Big Ten play. And up next for Maryland, they close out non-conference play at home, against the Kent State Golden Flashes. Now, Kent State comes into this game at 1-2, and two, and they're coming off a 30-7 loss at Iowa. Up next, let's talk about the Virginia Cavaliers. So, Virginia took one on the chin last week, falling 59-39 at number 21, North Carolina. And Sam Howell carved up the Cavaliers' defense for 307 yards and five touchdowns. The loss drops Virginia to 2-1 and one on the season, 0-1 in ACC play, Quick turnaround for the Wahoos, though. They're back in action on Friday against the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Now, Wake Forest comes in at 3-0, 1-0 in ACC play, and they are first place in the Atlantic Division. Wake Forest is coming off a 35-14 win over Florida State. And last but not least, let's talk about the Virginia Tech Hokies. So, Virginia Tech lost a heartbreaker this past week, 27-21, at West Virginia after Virginia Tech failed to score on a fourth and goal as time expired. The loss drops the Hokies to 2-1 and one on the season, and up next for Virginia Tech, they will be at home against the Richmond Spiders. Now, Richmond is a program with a lot of similarities to Virginia Tech. They both operate out of the state of Virginia. They're both 2-1, and one, and they're both coming off a loss, their first loss of the season, which happened to be on the road and in a close game. In the case of Richmond, it was a 34-27 decision at Villanova. And wrapping up this update, let's talk about the Washington Nationals. The Nationals, as of this moment, sit at 62-88, and last place in the NL East, and they have officially been eliminated from playoff contention. And so after losing two out of three this past weekend to the Rockies, the Nats headed to Miami for a three-game series with the Marlins. So far, Washington and Miami have split the first two with the rubber game going on tonight. As for the season series, Washington leads 10 games to 8, and the Nationals officially clinched it last night by beating the Marlins. So after leaving Miami, the Nationals will head to Cincinnati for a four-game series with the Reds. Now, Cincinnati, the Reds are third place in the NL Central. They cannot win that division, but they are still within striking range of the last wildcard spot, three games behind St. Louis for that last spot. Well, that's it for this update, but there's still plenty of content coming this week from Noah, Nadi, and Abdullah regarding the Washington football team because they have a big game this week up in Buffalo. So let's see if our boys can shock the world and bring home the dub. Until then, I'm Evan from DMV Sports Zone signing off.